All right, so what now, What I'm gonna cover now is the wiring uh, diagram that I took for installing on my power grounds through all the different components that I talked about. So battery to circuit breakers to fuses, to the bulkhead fittings and all that stuff. So starting off here, I have my 14 volt battery. Ground, and I got my power. And then that's going straight to, the first thing would be the 200 amp and circuit breaker. I'll highlight that in red because it's a power only device. And that power is going to that. Next would be the data panel cutoff switch. We'll call it solid state. And 300 amp, because it is. That will also do in red, because it is pretty much a power only device. All right, so now the 200 amp circuit breaker is feeding the data panel cutoff switch. So next, since it's on that uh, speaker rack, we'll just put the four FC3. And that is getting, it's ground directly from the battery. And it is getting powered from the data panel. Next, we will do the battery is feeding a frame. ground that's in the trunk and next we have our race wire solutions call it relay module and mod for short power ground but I still highlighted in red and that guy is getting its power from the data panel so you cut the cert, uh, cut off switch and it cuts power to the race wire solutions relay module and four FC3 and this guy is getting its ground directly from the battery so next we will do the um, 200 amp and I and that's a fuse. I'll highlight that one in red because it's pretty much power only. And that is getting its power directly from the battery. So now we will go to the firewall. Bulkhead. And we will do negative. Actually, let's do negative here. And the only thing that this guy is gonna get it's negative from our negative. It's going to be engine block and frame. So two things. Now, 
power. It's gonna be three things. For me, typically it's only two. So alternator, starter, and then I'm gonna do engine coolant fan. Engine fan. All right, so now power is coming straight from the 200 amp fuse that I showed you that's by the battery. It's going to that. And then it's getting its ground directly from the battery. Okay, and then last but not least, it's gonna be your ECU. In this case, I'm using a Holly Dominator. So follow the directions on that, but all ECUs should be getting fed directly from the battery. Worst case would be, since the Holly is probably in the front, that you would try to feed it off of anything connected to the alternator starter, which would cause you issues potentially. Um, but what you're supposed to do is connect that directly to the battery because it acts as a filter to filter out all the noise that's caused by your high current alternator starters, fans, and stuff like that. So to recap here, We'll start with the battery, and my battery feeds that 200 amp Busman circuit breaker, the switchable one, which then feeds the data panel solid state. So now, it's a short run, so you probably don't need any kind of circuit breaker or fuse. I like the switchable ones because it actually, it also adds this like a theft of deterrent, so I can just go there and kill power, or more importantly, if I want to cut all power to the car and be for sure it's cutting, most people would just disconnect the ground terminal from the battery. Well, I can just come and cut power off of the car at the circuit breaker with the flip of the switch. So I like that. Then it feeds the data panel, the solid state cutoff switch, which then the four FC3 is there, and that's getting its power from the data panel uh, cutoff switch. And then it's also giving power to the race wire solutions relay module. So if you hit the battery cutoff switch in the rear of the car, it's cutting off power to the fuel pumps and it's cutting off all the power to the car uh, from the relay module, just like how it should be if, if you had the car, um, if you didn't have the relay module and you're using your fuse blocks as you would should have it the same way. So when you push that button, it cuts all power to the car. Uh, understand that the Holly will, should be controlling our FC3. So when you cut power to the battery, it's sensing that the power is cut off by the relay module and it's cutting power to the ECU. This is just like a secondary tertiary. So have it uh, to ensure that fuel is getting cut off uh, to the car. So FC3 relay module, and then uh, don't forget to ground or uh, fuse that long run of battery cable that's going to the firewall as close to the battery as you can. So I use a 200 amp fuse. I am using a Nation's 200 amp alternator. There's a formula that you can use to figure out how big of a fuse that you need. I actually have a 225, which I think is what I have to use. Uh, when you start the car up, there could be surges but um, most circuit breakers or fuses can handle a quick surge just the amount of time that they're over the 200 amp threshold that they'll be caused to pop. Anyway, if I pop that, I'll just put a higher one in there for like 225 and I think that's fine. Um, but you need to figure that out and do the math to figure out what size fuse you need for your setup. Uh, anyway, that's now going to the firewall bulkhead where I'm only using that firewall bulkhead for the alternator starter and in my case the engine fan uh high load items uh and the noise is going straight to the battery the race wire solutions isn't going to pick up any of that noise the holly ecu for sure isn't going to pick up any of that noise and then i'll do engine block and frame and honestly i'll probably ground the engine fan to that same uh, point as well but other than that, there you have it. That is how I am setting, I wired my car up. Hopefully you were able to follow along and my handwriting is definitely on the board. It's definitely not good, but uh, hopefully you understand that. Hey, well, thanks a lot. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section or you can shoot me a message on Facebook and I'll uh, 
help you out to answer it as much as I can. Or if I got something wrong, uh, help me out. Let me know. Um, make, help me improve. Thanks a lot. Take care.